Tell me about yourself. Okay. All right. I am Paul. I do uh, 3D modeling, texturing, and animation. And the other question, how did, how did I get into this? Or um, What is your skills? What is your uh, group name? And what is your game name project? Right now, it's Team Freck. All right. And um, so our project is we're working on a game called uh, uh, Bull Bullseye Cacti in... Uh, God, what the frack? <laughs> <laughs> I always forget if it's frack attack or what the frack. Anyway, so uh, tell me about your game. Uh, our game is a platformer. What you're going to do is the main mechanic is be able to rewind time, <coughs> and only for the player, not the environment. So you have to navigate through the puzzles while deciding how much of your time to rewind because you can't keep doing it. It's not indefinite. So we're trying to build puzzles around that. The theme is what would you do, and our thought is what would you do if you had another chance. So, we're going to give you a lot of chances. But don't mess it up. It's not infinite chances. What encouraged you to get into game development? Well, um, I've been doing art since I was young, but what started me doing, uh, getting interested in video games and video game development was uh, Warcraft 2, Beyond the Dark Portal or beyond the, whichever, I forget which one it is, but Warcraft 2, because after that I could not stop drawing orcs, and I wanted to see orcs in more video games, so it's more like a drive to see if I can get into a game that has orcs, and that's that's why I'm in it, to do orcs, that is it. That is. <laughs> um, what is your favorite part about your role in the gaming industry? As far as your job, my favorite your part, skill. honestly, is the sense of uh, camaraderie and just a group effort, bringing all these different arts and talents together to bring about a conglomeration of uh, a masterpiece, if you will. Like it's just all these different uh, ideas coming together to create one golden uh, thing. So that's my favorite part. The that's my favorite part. Uh, what is the hardest part of uh, your role? <laughs> you know, the hardest part is probably this is uh, almost the antithesis to the working together because the hardest part is probably communication and making sure everybody's on the same page. And also, I guess sometimes when you run out of uh, passion and it just becomes a job. Hopefully that never happens, but you know, sometimes you might not want to be making crates all day. So, but you got to do it to finish the game. So that's probably a hard part. It's hard. It's a, it's a toss up between, you know, it becoming a job and, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. What are your thoughts on Global Game Jam? Wow, this is, uh, the Global Game Jam has been fantastic. I can't think of a negative thing about it. I try, I'm to criticize it, I'd say I wish it was more often, but I guess I would take away from the magic of it. Honestly, though, it's been one of the best experiences at Game Jam so far, and I can't wait. Uh, this one's not even finished, and I can't wait till the next one. You know. Oh. Um, and then lastly, what advice do you have anyone who uh, is encouraged or uh, has uh, that sort of that influence to get into the gaming industry? Um, don't ever give up. That's the best thing I can say. Because I've seen a lot of talented people uh, simply fall by the wayside and settle for doing something that wasn't their dream. And I'm not going to lie, it's really competitive. But just never, ever stop trying to get to where you got to go. Because uh, that's the worst thing you can do, is stop. So never stop and never surrender and never give up. Just keep trying and doing what you love doing. And eventually, something will happen. Click the V on the left. Did you want to see more from the Global Game Jam 2015, or you can click the video on the right if you want to see more from the Indie Game channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for all things indie games. Follow our network on Twitter at MCN Freedom, and be sure to like our Facebook page as well. See you next time.